Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome to this new Let's Play of EU4, Europa Universalis 4, and I'm kind of uncertain what I'm gonna play. I've had some thoughts on it. Um, normally I just hit the random nation, random nation button and go from there, pursuing achievements, but I don't think I want to risk that at this point. I mean, well, the last run was with Elodia down there, and the one before that was Congo, so I don't really want to pursue any of the achievements I have in Africa. I'm mean, kind of bored with Africa. <laughs> There's tons of achievements I lack here. Um, and as for Asia, I lack, lack quite a few achievements over here as well, but all of Asia is going to get a lot of new uh, features and stuffs in the next expansion, and so I might want to reserve that for a later time. And that leaves us with Europe, and I really would like to play stuff in Europe again. It's been quite a while So I've been thinking about Aragon uh, Aragon is a bit of a odd nation um, At least in terms of how I like them um, The Aragonese achievement is basically about controlling all the centers of trade bordering the Mediterranean which basically will bring us to odds with the Ottomans the Mamluks well Ottomans in both cases there, I suppose. We need Ragusa, we need both uh, Genoa and Venice. Uh, we need uh, the ones near Tunisia, we believe we need one in Klemken. So yeah, there, there's quite a few trade centers of trade you have to capture. And since we're going for that, we might also... We'll, well, we'll pretty much be on the way, on the path to uh, the restoration of the Roman Empire. So there's that to deal with, maybe? I don't know, it kind of depends. And Aragon can form Spain. I mean, there is a chance that Aragon can get the uh, Spanish, the um, Iberian wedding. Uh, though I suppose it's going to be harder to maintain the union from Aragon to Castilla rather than the other way around. I don't know. But we'll find out. We're not going to play Aragon then, I think. And see how that goes. Um, Aragon starts out with, let's see, a very different idea set than in Spain or Castile. And a weaker one, I think. Trade of it start out with the uh, tradition, trade efficiency, and galley combat ability. Um, basic ideas: mercenary maintenance, not too, too, not too bad, not too good either. Uh, national sailors modifier, boo hoo. Uh, the force limit is nice though, but the sailor modifier is pretty useless. Trade steering, yeah, that's okay if we actually manage to get a foothold everywhere. Uh, stability cost modifier is okay, I suppose. This one is very nice, global trade power. But that's very late. We'll have to get our third ID group before we get that. Monthly autonomy change is also pretty good. And morale of armies. That's <laughs> the very last ID actually has some military poof oomph behind it. Along with that, we also get culture conversion cost minus 10%. Not something we're likely to use much. Um, yeah. I don't know. We start out with a pretty good ruler though, 246. So, let's get on there. Do we want to play with a random new world? Do we want to scramble the continents and see what we get? I don't think we're pursuing any achievements that m where the uh, con new world continents matter. But if I do that, it might spawn some very different colonizing powers. Hmm. I'm just I'm just thinking. Are there any achievements that requires the old the the old new world? Um, <laughs> I mean, I have all the achievements for Spain, so I don't think there are any that I can get that requires the old new world. I mean, the only one that would apply there would be, say, the one for Mali and the one for uh, Luba or Cuba. Cuba. So I don't think we need the... that one. I am thinking about going exploration nevertheless and just contend with my other uh, local uh, friends here. Um, I think with it, let's do it. Scramble the new world.
Now I have the whole uh, new world settings at fairly low. Fairly, I think the standard settings, right? So we probably won't see anything truly outlandish. Um, yeah, fantasy random new world is uncommon. So we probably won't see anything spectacular over there, but you never know. It might happen. Other than that, I think we're just gonna jump in the game and see where we end up. Okay, we're gonna go for this. Uh, okay. Now I suspect that at, at the very least Castile is gonna be hostile. I'm fairly certain of that. Wouldn't be surprised if France starts hostile too. So let's have a look. Who hates us? Hungary, England, and Castile. Not France. Hmm. Not France. On the other hand, uh, you jump on my to my side immediately. Hungry rival does. That's kind of strange, I suppose, but okay. Um, let's see, our subject is how loyal? Oh, not very. And I can't integrate you up for another 50 years, right? I've never played Aragon before, so I have to look at this. Uh, integrate, that's until 492. Yeah, that's quite a while. And King Alfonso V, he is, let's see, well advised, architectural, okay, visionary, okay, so that's a reduction cost, that's very nice, oh, and a sinner, oh well, can't have everything I suppose, and our heir is not only bad, but also frightful in terms of, ooh, Wait, I can't afford it uh, to... Let's see now. How do the unions work now again? Um, isn't prestige part of this equation still? So I don't think I can sacrifice my ruler as long as I have the union. So we'll just have to suffer that horrible, horrible ruler. You hate our guts. And one is male, right? Yeah, okay. So there's nothing to be done there. I'm kind of surprised that England decided to rival us. Um, yeah, like Portugal, that's certainly fine. I'm just trying to think here. Do I want to uh, ally Austria or France? I can only get one of them. And I'm pretty certain that if I rival uh, England back... Which I'll probably have to do anyway. Um. Oh! <laughs> Neither country has an army. Yeah, the data hasn't updated yet. We might want to hold up. I'm pretty certain that if I rival England, France will be willing to ally me. But if I ally Austria, I can't get France. These numbers are kind of silly. I mean, they're gonna change pretty soon anyway. I'll think about that for a moment. As for missions, let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I suppose that's the mission we want. Uh, yeah, let's start by offering them an alliance right away. It's the first alliance. That might actually cancel the mission. I'm suddenly uncertain. <laughs> Does that actually require them to be uh, subjugated militarily? I'm not sure. Um, as for our fleet, we are going to protect trade in... Okay, we're also trade set up. That's gonna be Genoa, right? Yeah, definitely Genoa. Protect trade, Genoa. We have a fair sized fleet. We are gonna have to butter up to our subject state, make sure that they don't do anything funky. We cannot fabricate on Granada. Ah, that's unfortunate. So if I want to prevent uh, Spain from taking over, or Castile from taking over Granada, I have to work for that. Uh, I can't start another those just yet. <laughs> Let's see, best guesses. Starting army is okay-ish. Are we at force limit, by the way? We are not at force limit. Can we afford it? That's the other question. Uh, we might. Uh, da -da -da -da. Advisors, are there any good ones? We're actually making a fair bit of money. Unless this lies, but again, this is gonna, probably going to adjust itself. Um, I'm gonna go with prestige. I, wait a second. No, 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 wait a second. Estates first. <laughs> um, yeah, estates. Let's start with that. I mean, that's gonna be the first thing we have to, first thing we have to sort out. There's probably all kinds of wrong distributions of those. If only I can find the darn map mode. Gah, I'm going blind. There it is. Estates, finally. Okay, so you've distributed what? You've given this to the clergy. Uh, I don't know. Okay, actually, okay, so it wasn't an estuary. It's just a river running through, that's fine then. And the Bali are as well, okay. You're giving the burgers the... Isn't Barcelona center of trade? Oh, that's Valencia, okay, fine. Which is also our capital, so we can't hand that over. Well, in that case, this should have been the Burger Province. Oh, there's even a few provinces over here handed over. Okay. Yeah, it's fine, I'm sure. It, it's gonna be fine. Um, So I can't really get you up to 40. I can get you up to 36, then we could not, I don't know, we can still not boost it up further. We require a fair amount of influence, 40 influence in order to do that, I have to hand out more provinces, and then the monopoly charters, and then the admiralty to get the points. Uh, 
let's do this. And, oh, wait. That does get me above 40. Okay, so... How badly do I want the points? That's gonna bring me to 60 influence. I don't think I'm gonna need an Admiral. Um, not gonna need a Master of Mint either, but... Yeah. This is a faster cooldown though. Yeah, that's a 10 year cooldown. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, fine. Let's recruit an Admiral we'll never use. And immediately demand their support. 100 points, thank you for that. Uh, as for you... Right now we have 100 because you have 50 influence exactly. We are going to have to seek your support. I don't think we can afford... That. I'm going to 60. I could punch a bit higher by recruiting him in... by a theologian or something. I don't really want to though. Uh, Sixty points. Seventy-five is next break point. So I'd get there by recruiting a theologian. Well, uh, that's gonna leave me with a very lengthy modifier, thirty-year modifier. That's a bit scary. I don't think 50 admin points are worth that. We're just gonna take four, the 100. And then there's you. We are gonna call the Diet because that's the only thing we can do. And much in the same way, I don't think I wanna risk everything for 50 points. Uh, why did this go down? Oh, right, because we lost prestige. And we're now a bit negative prestige. Let me just have a quick look. Is there a chance it'll break apart? No, it continues even if we have negative prestige. So that's changed. But it's been a long time since I played with personal unions, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're safe there. And yeah, I am gonna take my sweet time setting all everything up. Familiarize myself with this madness. Um, there's the form Spanish nation. Stuffs. Oh yeah, and before I forget, let me just verify that we actually do have the achievements we're after. Um, let's see now, where is it, where is it? Uh, not bad in Ostrom. There we go, Consulate of the Sea. As I recall, conquer all Med Mediterranean centers of trade, which I believe, yeah, there are nine of them. Genoa, Venetia, Constantinople, Dubrovnik, Ragusa. Uh, Valencia, which we already have. Who the other? Okay, that's the one up by. That's in Anatolia, I think. Tunisia, Alexandria, Tala, what's it? Um, is that one down here somewhere? Yeah, there we go, Tala Imsan. This one as well, okay. Yeah, that's nine of them. We have one, we need to conquer eight of them. Uh, other achievements we might pursue would be the Roman Empire one. Though we have to conquer quite a lot of land for that. Theoretically, we could pursue one faith. I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's gonna be close to a world conquest if we're gonna push for that, but... It's feasible. If I step on it. And I mean, I haven't done the uh, Fanatical Collectivist yet, either. And there's also the 100% mercant Mercantilism. Uh, all of that would require making the Pope like us, though. And 
Pope's in control of himself. Five two eight two. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to strengthen the armies. And I do believe we had the manpower for that and the force limit, right? We can afford a level three. Well, at least we can afford to make them. I don't know if we can afford to feel them, but we're going to try anyway. Like so. Hold up the force limit. Make ourselves look a lot stronger. Uh, advisors. We did not recruit anyone that really matters, I suppose. Uh, so we're going to go with you. Get some prestige. That's fine. Um, diplomatic reputation would actually be useful right now. Morale is probably stronger in the early game, so we're gonna go with that. Good advisors all around. They're also cheaper than normal. We could have afforded. Actually, that's true. We, since we get a cost reduction by uh, one fifth, we could might uh, we might actually be able to invest in even better advisors, or we can just go on the cheap for now. As for shifting our foci, yeah, I do believe I want to foci focus on. Admins, since we're weaker there. It's gonna balance the stats. And let's see, now the first institution is gonna be the Renaissance, which we are gonna be in a good position to get. Since that's gonna be fairly close to us. Or in Italy, most likely. Plenty of disputed successions. And... Uh, yeah, maybe it is time to unpause. <laughs> let's see. Up to speed too, just one day. That's Navarra. Florence wants an alliance. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the Pope, Pope kind of likes us. I don't really want to uh, upset. Wait a second. Castile has us, the Pope, and Morocco as enemies. Ha. Huh. Okay. The, did the numbers here update so you can actually see? Yeah, there we go. Their strengths and weaknesses. So the weaker rivals for us. Definitely the Pope, pope and Genoa. I don't think yeah, Burgundy would matter to us, Venice. I don't know. The Ottomans, who did you rival then? You rivaled the Mamluks, Byzantium, and the Timurids. And you're hostile to quite a few other. Okay, fine. I better focus on the ones that are my enemies first. Hungary is certainly my enemy. There are quite a few countries that are friendly to us right now. But I do believe we have to prepare for a counter to France. I don't know if you'd... My fear here is that uh, Castile will ally France. That's my fear. And if I ally Austria, France will be out of our league. I'm fairly certain. But I do believe Austria is our best bet. So let's go with Austria. Um, we are probably gonna rival England, but not before we secured some more alliances. Austria accepted that alliance. Okay. Um, how unlikely are you now? Yeah. 
Minus 50 for because I ally Austria, that was expected. Um, let's ally Portugal. That's all the ones we can have, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. As for conquering stuff, well, rivaling the Pope would be interesting. But if we did that, we're gonna. Yeah, well, that's not gonna end well. It's just not gonna end well. Um. Even though that would be interesting, given that they're currently a rival of Castile. So I think we'll have to do that. Yeah, okay, we're gonna rival Castile. And we're gonna rival England. But then I'm uncertain. I mean, Genoa is going to form a trade league. And I don't think we can really advance towards Hungary anytime soon. I'm going to put Genoa. It's the weakest potential one right now. And then we just have to hope that France doesn't do anything rash. We're not going to ally Florence then. And this alliance shouldn't last forever. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll get around to conquering stuff eventually. First though, we just have to let time roll a bit. Uh, not, not Castile. No, no, no. Uh, Navarra. Since we can. Interesting to see who Castile picks up as, as allies. I'll take that royal marriage. You allied Granada. Oh dear me. <laughs> okay, succession war between Castile and Aragon. Now that's gonna be nasty. Well, it all depends on who they get as friends. Um, da -da 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 -da. Wait a second. Oh my. Um, that is actually worth. Oh darn it! It ended. Because you allied. Damn it! Damn it! They allied Genoa. That's why. Um. But that's actually, they're still friendly. They're still friendly. Um, it would cost us a point. But it would make them less likely to attack us. Uh, 
And again, my greatest fear is that Castile picks up them as an ally. Uh, but if I do that, I can't attack them. Now let's try. Let's see if we can placate France. They would take their own marriage. Oh yeah, I've completely forgot about our forts. So let's have a look at that situation. One fort down there. Uh, not really one we need to worry about for a long time. Capital Fort in Valencia. I think I'm going to keep that one at full maintenance all the time. And much the same with this fort. At least until I figured out what Spain will do. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be the hitch for, it for the initial setup. And yeah, we know we're, it's going to take a while until I get into the, the game of things here. Um, yeah, if you enjoy watching this playthrough, please consider using the like and subscribe buttons. And if you have anything to remark to me about my gameplay, the comment field is just down below. And beyond that, thank you for watching.